Good morning, guys, and welcome back to our channel. Today is 14th January, Thursday. So, first of all, I am wishing you all a very happy Makar Sakrantri, Pungal, and Lori. Okay. Today's topic of discussion is about information and communication technology in higher education. So, I would like to inform you this information and communication technology. In short, it is known as called ICT. All right. So, ICT or the Information and Communication Technology has proven power to change the world. This acronym refers to the merging of audiovisual and telephone network with the computer signal unified system of cabling. Thus, ICT includes any communication devices okay, that could be or including radio, television, cell phones, computers, network, hardware, satellite system, etc. The role of ICTs in education is becoming more and more critical. The higher education sector has advanced with the help of various ICT tools such as the smart devices, smart boards, online classroom, digital cl cameras, projectors, videos, conferencing tools, audio recording tools and many more. Uh, let's see how information and communication technology that is ICT evolved by evolved the higher education system. The role of ICT is what is what is learnt in higher education. Okay, what is learnt? Okay, that is see here guys, you need to see here what is learnt. So, the traditional teaching has revolved around the content with great emphasis laid on the textbook based learning. The teachers headed the classroom and used the lectures, tutorials and presentations to help the students understand the material being taught. This is what was our traditional way of learning. But now as due to the introduction of ICT, the things have changed. In what ways it has changed? I have underlined the content for you here as you can see over here that with the introduction of ICT and various edtech tools, students are no longer restricted to learning from the textbook, the class lectures and presentations. With the help of the internet and ICT tools, higher education learners can assess a variety of source of information including the videos, documentaries, podcasts and speeches by experts. Further it says, the oneness, okay, oneness of means the responsibility. The responsibility of learning has also shifted from teachers to the student in due to ICT. Okay, now the students are more responsible for their, what they are learning. Okay. Uh, so it has been shifted from teachers to the student as there is an increased focus on a student centered learning that is based on the assess of information. Now this has also changed the role of teachers from being content experts to being guide and mentors for the student. So now the teachers are not only the source of information but now what they are more they are the source of guide uh, they are like guide and they are the mentors okay now they uh, teachers have not been called here as a source of information because the students have the various different options these days they have the books internet this that and a lot of options right as far as the knowledge is concerned previously the system was different the students were completely depend on the teachers for their uh, knowledge purpose right but now the knowledge is available everywhere but only thing what they seek from teacher is guidance okay they want somebody should mentor okay like for example uh, igno study material is available a lot everywhere okay those who want to actually want to study okay but still why do you watch this kind of videos and all that so here the people help you out they guide you they mentor you okay this is just a small example further it says that it is opined opined means suggest that as a student and teacher gain access to the higher bandwidth on internet connectivity and more direct forms of communication, the trend of student driven learning will continue to grow in higher education institutes. Okay, ICT because of information, communication, and technology, what is happening? The enrollment in higher education is also increasing. Okay, our point number two says the role of ICT on how students learn in higher education. Okay, how the method of learning that has changed, the ICT has changed that. So ICT is not only influencing, changing and supporting the content that is being learned in higher education institutes, but also changing the way students are learning. There has been systematic movement from content centered circular, uh, curricula. Okay, now what is curricula? Curricula is the plural word for or the plural form of curriculum. So, it has become content centered curricula to con competency based curricula with the aid of various ICT tools. Okay. Similarly, there is a movement away from the teachers centered learning to the student centers forms of knowledge.
okay and ICT has facilitated facilitated means to provide facility has facilitated a modern learning approach where the students are encouraged to take responsibility for their own learning so these days students are more responsible for their own learning okay teachers are not as much responsible now why why this is happening due to because these days a, a student cannot make excuse my teacher did not teach me because there are a lot of another options are available with a student one who actually want to learn right and as the saying goes that a bad workman always fight with his tools so for that person he or she can make any 10 different excuses that i did not have this computer says i did not have this that and blah 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 stuff right so anyway this is the thing we so go ahead further say the students are increasingly turning towards the web and online subject matter experts from who they will learn okay thus creating an environment of independent learning like for example presently what you are doing is a kind of an independent learning now why i am calling an independent learning because this is not necessary that you are attending this thing live this this video can be or this audio can be uh, what i can say you can utilize at any time of the day right whenever you have your time okay when you are free at your convenience time you can learn from it okay the point number 3 says the role of ICT on when the student learn in higher education the third point is the role of ICT when students learn in higher education in traditional high schools colleges and universities institutional provides minimum choice for the students for when the learning would take place means there was a fixed time and that particular time only you are supposed to learn okay typically the students would accept the learning schedule prepared by the institute and follow the same okay whatever time table has been given by the institute okay whether it's a college university a student is supposed to follow that only the but now the use of ict tools allows students to optimize their learning experience by choosing when they wish to study okay is based on their routine of or the body clock okay like many of you like for example like if i am uploading this video in the morning it is not necessary that you will watch in the morning time only some of you may be coming from the work and late evenings and right most of the subscriber they prefer to watch at the night time because when they are free where their body clock is allowing you at that time right so there is a flexibility in the time factor due to the ict okay learners are free to participate in learning activities when time permits or be assured on of no in interruption okay interruption when there is a no interruption this freedom and flexibility have significantly increased the opportunities for many students to participate in formal programs mm -hmm. it has also provided learning opportunities for many more learners who previously were constrained by other commitments okay the use of online technology learning has enabled learning to become an activity that is no longer set within the program schedule and slot okay guys so this is very very clear for you guys over here that it is now the uh, it has enabled ict has enabled the learning to become an activity that is no longer set to within the program schedule of and slots okay for that said the various technologies can provide uh, the various technologies can provide asynchronous it means not occurring at the same time support means uh, that kind of support for the learners so that the need for the real time okay, the for need for the real time participation is avoided while the students can benefit from the communication and collaboration that the online system provides now because of ict this is not only the students who are benefited but also the teachers okay benefit from these tools as they can decide what period as in the 24 into 7 envelope can be utilized to by for teaching and interacting with the student so teachers have their own time convenience okay like for example if i am not able to enable uh, uh, any video at 9 am so i may do it later at 11 am also or at whatever time it is right so it is it is giving a flexibility for the teachers as well not only to the students okay the role of ict is uh, where students learn in higher education this is our fourth and last point of the day which we are going to discuss so where the place place of learning has also been changed because of ict okay uh, the continued and increased use of ict has also changed where the students learn 
while the concept of flexibility in the location of education is not new to the prevalence of distance education programs for years, yet for most institutes, students do not choose the place of their location. With ICT and advancement of EdTech tools, okay, off-campus delivery of courses is an option for students who were unable to attend the class for any number of reasons. Additionally, the use of ICT tools in, instead of a traditional classroom setting has given way to learning in work-based setting with students able to assess course and program from their workplace only. Okay. The advantages of education at location of choice is not only increased convenience to the students but also financial savings and time related saving with travel. The concept of technology powered any place learning. Okay, also ensures that learners enroll in courses offered by any institute across the world rather than only applying for local educational institutes. The advantages of this include extended course offering and the opportunity to digitally interact with co-learners and students from different background culture, cultures and perspectives. All right. So this is what all the changes which has brought by ICT information communication and technology in our higher education system. If you look in the conclu conclusion of it, so its conclusion says in conclusion the higher education systems have grown expo exponentially in the past few decades to meet the increasing demands of, of quality education. The swift advancement of in ICT have also helped to propel the higher education sector to serve the students and teachers better okay guys so this is all about today's video so thank you very much for watching and once again i'm wishing you all a very happy makar sakranti so bye bye and enjoy your day have a nice day ahead bye bye all